share, share a parenting pro tip with you from a homeschool mom that is literally reparenting myself, relearning strategies, throwing everything from my master's degree in education out the window and starting fresh. Okay. So something that has been really a personal trigger for me is I grew up in a very authoritative house that was former military. It was yes or yes, ma'am. If not, my way or the highway. And so I am reparenting and recoaching myself to, to be more of a cooperative strategy with my kids and to have more of a teamwork mentality. Okay. So I'm, I'm learning from scratch guys. This is real talk. So my almost 13 year old is getting to that very, very, um, pressing stage where she's trying to figure out, uh, what, where the boundaries are. She's trying to try on emotions. She's trying to try on like, Ooh, maybe I should say these words. Oh, maybe this is a better tactic. And so she, you just see her literally flipping emotions all the time and trying on new hats, trying on new outfits, uh, arguing, fighting, trying to figure out life. And instead of me being triggered, like she doesn't respect me or respect my boundaries, I've just seen it as she's she is trying different things. And I just need to be as patient and be like, hey, that's probably not the right tool to use in this situation. Let's use this tool instead. This is what's going to help us in the situation. So instead of me being triggered, I've just had to step back away from my personal emotions, the way from my upbringing of like, oh my gosh, she is, uh, you know, trying to usurp me, trying to do mutiny against me, like she's against me. I need to have the mentality of we're on the same team. I'm the coach. Let me tell you a better technique. This might be a better technique to use. This is a better tool to use. And that phraseology has been opening so many doors with our relationship of like, okay, that wasn't the right tool. Maybe we should try this tool. Maybe we should have this. Maybe we should say it like this. If you want to get your switch and your phone later, this is probably not the right tool to use. This is probably not the right tactic, the right strategy. Why don't we say it like this? Why don't we... Um, this is kind of what I would see in a, in a job situation or a work situation. This is kind of a, a better tactic to say, can we practice this? And so I have more of this uh, coach uh, player mentality, this training mentality of like, hey, probably not the best tactic. Let's do this. And I'm telling you, that has been such a game changer. So if you have preteens and teens that are going through these, you see them kind of like trying on new attitudes, coming in with a huffy puff attitude. They woke up on the wrong side of the bed and they're coming at you in the morning and you feel triggered. Step back and be like, Hey, they're trying on all these different mentalities or trying on all these different uh, attitudes. And we need to have a more of a coach player mentality of like, hmm, probably not the best strategy. Let's do this instead of it triggering us. And automatically we go into fight or flight mode because I, I know that personally. And that's something I've had to reparent myself and break that down and die to that because Obviously, I want to break that generational uh, curse of having like this yell mentality and flip mentality. I want to have more of a a teamwork that we're on the same team. Let's have unity. Let's break it down so that when they're older, we have a better relationship. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to shut you down. The idea isn't what I want. It's, hey, how, what did you think about that? Or how could I have done better? Or Let's talk about how that could have done better. So anyway, that's just a little real talk for you guys. I uh, would love to hear what you guys are doing to kind of reparent yourself, uh, reparent the kids in your life, trying to do new strategies. And um, we'd love to hear your comments below.